just standing there. Can we get you going to your tiptoes? So good functional test. Does she have any pain or problems with that? For example, if she had posterior impingement, we'd expect that to be painful. So in this position, I'm going to have a look to see if there's evidence of anterior or posterior impingement. So we take the ankle up into 90 degrees. So posterior impingement uh, creates pain around the posterior aspect of the ankle with plantar flexion. So I think we get good control when the athlete's lying prone like this and we're moving the foot into terminal or forced plantar flexion, asking if that reproduces posterior ankle pain. So not so interested about anterior ankle pain, which sometimes happens. Does this create posterior ankle pain? That's the posterior impingement test. Mm -hmm.